Certified Professional Employer Organizations. What are they and why does it matter when you're looking at a professional employer organization? Hi, I'm Karen Shamai with Insperity and today we're going to be talking about the CPEO certification, where it comes from and how it impacts you directly. The Certified Professional Employer Organization designation comes from the Internal Revenue Service. The IRS works with PEOs who are interested in getting this designation. And in order to receive it, a professional employer organization must complete an audit of their financial statements. They have to open up their all of their financial statements to the IRS and demonstrate that they are soundly keeping their books. They have to have a CPA affirmed document that they pay their employment taxes in a timely manner. Also, that they're not double paying the taxes. So basically they're doing the right thing as far as taxes are being handled and it is all within governmental compliance. They need a document that they have positive working capital. Any company that is in the red will not be able to support a CPEO status. They will be revoked. Finally, a CPEO has to provide background reports for their individuals responsible for employment tax payments. This is really important. The IRS will audit the backgrounds of the people who are touching your taxes and your money. You, they want to make sure that there's no fraud, that there's nothing in these people, people's backgrounds, which would preclude them from being able to handle your company and take good care of it. The advantage, there are several advantages to moving over to a CPEO. The first one is that your taxes don't start over. If you move over mid year, your taxes will not start over. If you are not moving over to a certified professional employer organization mid year, if you are moving to a non certified professional employer organization mid year, your taxes will reset which means everything you've paid up until then will not count and you'll have to start all over at the beginning. Another big benefit is the deductible carryover. A certified professional employer organization will be able to carry over the deductibles that your employees have already used, the portion of the deductibles that your employees have already used on their previous benefit plans to the new benefit plans. This is another huge step and piece of the equation for a lot of employers and employees. There are a lot of other benefits that go along with working with a certified professional employer organization. It's important for you to ask and understand what's involved and who it is that you're moving over into. Another very important question to ask is, does the company to which you're moving have multiple companies within their umbrellas? A lot of companies hold multiple agencies under their umbrellas, only one of which is a certified professional employer organization. You may start off under a CPEO. However, halfway through your tenure or partially through your tenure, they may shift you over to one of the other companies who is not a certified professional employer organization and do so without telling you. It's important to ask these questions up front to know what the possibilities are and ensure that if you are jumping over to a certified professional employer organization, that you stay that way. I know a big shock that happened for one of my clients right now is that a few laws were enacted in January, which they were never told about because they happened to be with a PEO whose certification was suspended. That's a very big deal. Ask good questions, take care of your employees, take care of your business, and have an amazing day.